I was looking at the depictions of bodies without heads or legs in the making of husbands, Christina Ramberg in Dialogue, an exhibition at the Baltic Online. She talks about reforming and transforming bodies and I thought it would be interesting to try something like it at home using a chair and some old clothes. I've always been fascinated by chairs because they are body shape. They have parts like bodies such as backs, legs, some even have arms. They're like a skeleton or armature for building a body onto. Wooden ones are good because they're easier to attach things to but any type will do. If you have a dressing up box that's brilliant, get that otherwise baggy t-shirts, tops or shirts are just as good also tights, leggings, scarves and floppy skirts, saris or sarongs, even shoes might be useful. But check you have permission to use the things you collect and the same goes for the chair. There's other things related to bodies such as coat hangers, rubber gloves, goggles, sunglasses. I've got my old um, gardening knee pads here. Let's see what you can find. Then have another look round for things like scissors and sticky tapes, wool or string, elastic bands, even old shoelaces. Then old newspapers or plastic bags, or even if you've got any big bits of card or bubble wrap. I found some clothes pegs as well. Try garments for size on your chair, but then think about how to create a shape for your torso. Here I used some card, then added a coat hanger and some crumpled newspapers. I tried a head with a knee pad, but it looked a bit scary. So I added a scarf and gloves for shoulder pads. It was a bit surreal or weird and in a bad way. So then I took the head away and added some extra rolled up card for the shoulders. And finally, a great big container of dried flowers and grasses. It's still weird, but I quite like him now. He seems to have developed a character. I've called him Flower Power. I had another go with a taller chair this time. I started by tying a bag full of bags to its back and adding the knee pads as shoulder pads. But you can use anything. I'm sure you'll come up with some brilliant ideas. For this one, I used my dad's old bowling shirt. Then added pink tights for arms. And tried to imagine fingers, clothes pegs or rubber gloves. What about a head too? I tried a paper bag and goggles, but he looked scary. So I took them away again. It's interesting that the artworks in the exhibition mostly don't have heads. Instead, I added some rolled up bubble wrap to the tights to create 3D arms and settled on pegs for fingers. Then added some pom-poms, also some cardboard shoe inserts, and finally, Frank began to take shape. Thinking of character, I tried some shoes on the legs, which are really quick to add. Now I really like him in a skirt with shoes and think I'm ready to make up a story where Frank and Flower Power meet. I hope there's some ideas here to start you thinking about how to use chairs for body sculptures and creating your own characters. Remember, they don't need heads. Think about the torso or body first. And the main thing is to have fun experimenting. You've been watching me, artist Karen Ran, make torso sculptures, taking inspiration from The Making of Husbands Christina Ramberg in Dialogue.